Sherry Beasley joins me now, and it's my pleasure to meet you virtually. Uh, good to see you. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you, Andrea. Well, I do want to ask whether you're concerned that this Green Party-backed candidate could divide the anti-Trump candidate's vote and cut into your potential votes in this tight race. You know, I'm really not. Um, I said all along we were prepared to win this race regardless of who was on the ballot. And uh, we are out there meeting voters, uh, feeling a lot of energy and enthusiastic uh, enthusiasm in this race. And I certainly know that there are real uh, concerning issues about uh, our environment. We are in a climate crisis, and I'm fully prepared to address those. And so I'm really excited about where we are in this race. When you talk to voters, is the economy, inflation, you know, are those the biggest issues? That's what's polling nationally, of course. Uh, has Roe v. Wade and the Supreme Court's decision on that changed it at all? You know, I, I think it's fair to say that um, the folks that I'm talking with across North Carolina really do want to know that senators are working hard to lower costs. People are certainly feeling the pain at the pump uh, to needing prescription drug costs lowered. And, and they want to know that the next senator from our great state is going to fight hard to do that. I, I would also say that uh, the decision in Dobbs is a real uh, motivating factor in this race. Uh, there are so many people in our state who are incensed and see that politicians are completely out of step with the sentiment of the majority of people here in North Carolina and this country. I've been a judge a long time, Andrea, over 20 years and Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. And I know that there is a constitutional right uh, for nearly 50 years uh, for reproductive freedom for families uh, to make their own decisions without government interference. My opponent, on the other hand, uh, fully believes that we should have an absolute ban on abortion, even in the case of rape, incest, or risk to a mother's health. And the people here in North Carolina want to know that the next senator here is going to fight hard to protect our constitutional rights, and that's exactly what I'll do in the U.S. Senate. Now, if you were to win, this would be historic for North Carolina. They haven't had a Democrat in a while, but you would be the first black you know, senator from North Carolina, certainly. Uh, what are you finding as you go in the rural communities and in many of the sort of ruby-red areas of the state? What kind of reception are you getting? You know, uh, people have been just amazing. And, and I, I certainly understand that representation matters. It, it matters that we have uh, our Senate that represents the diversity and the talent uh, and the experiences of, of black women. Uh, but I certainly also tell you that I am running for all of North Carolina. As important as it is, how the Senate looks is how the Senate works. And it's just not working for us here in North Carolina. I certainly know that uh, it, we are traveling all over this great state. We've been uh, to the western part of the state and the eastern part of the state. And, and people are excited. They're engaged. We've had support from all 100 counties uh, in, in this state. It's a big state. We're the ninth largest in the nation. And so we're really excited about people being galvanized and excited about my race. And uh, certainly if people want to know more about my uh, candidacy, I would ask them to please go to SherryBeasley.com. And also your reaction to President Trump pleading the fifth and the FBI searching his residence. You're a former Supreme Court chief judge from North Carolina. So you know the legal ramifications of all of this. I do. And I, and I just know I have a real respect for the rule of law and for law enforcement being able to do their jobs. I think we need to see how this all uh, falls into place so that we have more information and have a better opportunity to assess uh, where we are in this. I do also know that it's important that a national security be uh, of, of, of primary concern for, for all of us in this work.